Hi everyone, it's Anya from Cooking with Plants and welcome to my kitchen. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're a regular subscriber, then welcome back. Today, I'm very excited to show you one of my favorite breakfast smoothies. And I'm also going to show you a bit of a serving trick at the end of this video to make this extra delicious. And we eat with our eyes. So this is also a nice visual thing that you can do if you've got friends coming over or just do it for yourself because you deserve to have something delicious that looks amazing for your breakfast or for a dessert each and every day. So let's get into the recipe. Cooking with plants, vegan made easy. So for this recipe, I'm going to use my small try best blender. I just love this blender. It's great for making smaller amounts of things and the cup is just easy to serve the drinks out of or sauces or whatever you're making and they also come with a screw top lid so if you need to store something that you've blended up in the fridge it makes it really really convenient so i'll leave a link to that in the description box below if you do want to check that out but that's the blender that i'm using today so first up i'm going to be using half a cup of, of oats and i've got organic rolled oats that i'm using today To this, I'm adding a quarter of a cup of plant-based milk. Today, I'm using some oat milk just to go with the oats and to make it extra thick and creamy. To this mixture, I'm adding two tablespoons of lemon juice because it is a lemon cream smoothie. So this is going to actually curdle the milk a little bit and make it more of a thicker buttermilk consistency. And once it's blended up, it will absolutely taste delicious. You're not going to have strange texture in here or curdled looking milk. It's all going to combine beautifully into a delicious smoothie. I'm also adding in half a cup of coconut water. Uh, you could use some extra plant-based milk if you like to make it super, super creamy. But I just love the lightness of the coconut water and also the flavor and how it combines and adds a little bit of sweetness to this mixture. Next, I'm adding a tablespoon of chia seeds. So next, I'm going to add a couple of teaspoons of maple syrup for the sweetness. Sometimes I add frozen bananas to this. Sometimes I add some dates. It just depends what I have on hand and what I feel like using on the day. Another great thing that I like to use in here is some caramel or butterscotch stevia drops. They make this absolutely delicious also. And finally, I'm adding in half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then give this a blend up. Okay, so this has been blending for about two minutes. It's really, really smooth and creamy. And I'm going to show you how I like to serve this. So I've actually got a glass that I like to serve it in and just pour that in. Oh, look at that. Yummy. So thick and delicious. And then what I've got here is some frothed up milk. So I actually bought this little frother from Aldi. It's about 30 Australian dollars and it's absolutely amazing. You can froth up just small amounts of milk and put them on top of hot chocolates or if you're making a chai latte. Or what I like to do is actually put it on top of my smoothies and it's absolutely delicious. So what I like to do is froth it up and then put it on top scoop it out it's just nice thick foam what I'm using in there is bonsoi so the bonsoi soy milk does not have any added oil in it and I just love the flavor so there's a little bit of the liquid that hasn't frothed up and then that thick froth on top mm, I should have actually made two of these because I'm making these this one for my partner and I won't be able to try it <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I've just got some lemon zest and I'm going to sprinkle that on top and this is a delicious breakfast smoothie ready to go and it looks amazing and you can either serve it with a straw or a long spoon and you're good to go it's also delicious as a 
drink at any time of the day or as a little bit of a dessert type of drink. So I hope that you enjoy this recipe. I would love for you to make it. Let me know what you think of this recipe. And why not come on over to my Facebook group and come and join us and share your favorite tips and tricks for living a plant-based lifestyle or your favorite vegan recipes or just to learn how to cook more plant-based foods. I would love to see you there and see you for the next recipe. Bye for now.